have the uh, the running backs like being two thirds of the way through, and, and and Daniel's finally been practicing for a decent amount of time. Yeah, yeah, it's good to have Lasko back. Uh, you know, we got we were a little bit uh, we're hurting a little bit from a depth standpoint with Calfani not being here today. Um, so you know, Copperich and, and Lasko had to get a lot of reps, and then some of the other guys, uh, you know that are going in there and working hard and doing their thing, but they're just a little bit behind. And so it's, at times our execution's not as good as it should be, um, just because we don't have that depth that we need at that spot. But, you know, it's good to see Daniel back. I mean, he, he's doing a lot of good things. So I think he's vastly improved um, from where he was last year. You know, he's, he's seeing things better. He's more comfortable. He's playing faster. And I think the biggest thing is he's playing behind his pads better. You know, he's, he's finishing runs and getting lower. And so it's good to see him making progress. Was the offense a little sluggish uh, today? Yeah, well, I didn't think we were near as sharp just in terms of practice as we had been. You know, I was really pleased, uh, sa uh, you know, Friday, Saturday, Monday. Um, and then I thought I thought we were just didn't have that kind of uh, intensity and pop that we've had the last couple of days. So that was a little disappointing. And uh, you know we got to get that fixed by Friday. Where do you think your receiver your receiver depth stacks up in the conference? You know the funny thing is I don't really know what anybody else has much. I mean there's some there's some guys probably that the return some more productive guys maybe than we than we did. Um, but you know we, we've got a lot of guys that can play. I mean I I think our depth has got to be you know. Uh, probably as good as anybody's in terms of guys, guys that have played and guys that are starting to kind of come into their own. And then, you know, you throw Trevor Davis in there as well, and we think he's going to be a productive guy. And um, you know, there's there's a lot of good players out there. I mean, a lot of guys that are fighting for positions and and fighting for footballs, which is a good thing. You know, you want it to be competitive, and um, you know, it's good to see Bryce back out there. Um, you know, full speed today. I thought he he looked better and. Um, so it, it's it's good. I mean, I think we have a lot of depth. Again, it's hard to compare. I don't really know what, else, what everybody else has at this point. Did Dregs take contact today? Yeah, yeah, he did. He he uh, went went full full go today. Um, how did uh, Coprich uh, do today? You know, not bad, not bad. I thought he had a couple. He had long runs, kind of in the live team period. Uh, you know, a couple of productive runs. Uh, you know, I think he's doing some good things. I mean, he's he's certainly gotten better, and and uh, it's just got to we just got to you know keep uh, working to be consistent at that position. You guys gonna have a full scrimmage on Saturday? Yeah, yeah, we'll we'll practice some and scrimmage some, so it'll be a little bit more of, of kind of what we did last week, where we where we practiced, but at the same time we we focused more on team periods. Will it be the, longer or shorter? Uh, practice will probably be a little bit shorter, but like I said, more uh, more competitive live team periods. What will the uh, focus be on Friday? Um, you, yeah, yeah, Friday will be a little bit more of a uh, just helmets only practice. Then we'll come out and get a lot of work done, and it'll be uh, full speed. But from a physical standpoint, we've got to have three, three practices and helmets only. We've had two so far. This will be our third, and so um, you know we think it made sense from a standpoint. You know we've gone a lot of live uh, against each other and, and uh, scrim have scrimmaged a lot and. You know, probably got 30, 35 plays today. So, um, you know, they're, they're a little bit beat up physically, and so it'll be good to have a little bit lighter practice on Friday. So, can you talk more about going live more this spring and just why that was needed? Yeah, I mean, I think the biggest thing is just had to learn how to play football, you know, and just tackle and, and get off blocks and, you know, just all the stuff that, that uh, you have to do in a football game. And so for us, you know, According to Pac-12 rules, we're allowed to have eight full tackle practices. We wanted to utilize all of them. Didn't want to rely on having, you know, typical three scrimmages that people have where they'll go, you know, 120 play scrimmages. Our, our thought was uh, to spread it out a little bit to get the same, actually get more live uh, reps, but just spread it out over practices. And that way, what, what happens a lot of times is you, in those scrimmage situations, you know, you get a lot of guys hurt when they start getting tired. And so I think it's helped keep us more healthy this spring uh, because, you know, we haven't had those long team periods that have dragged on and, and guys fatigue and have a tendency to get uh, injured. So we've tried to keep the team periods relatively short. I think it's paid off for us. Uh, you said uh, at the beginning of spring, I know things change, uh, that you were hoping to have a depth chart at some point. Yeah, yeah, we kind of thought we might have one today. Uh, we, we talked a little bit about them. I was just we wanted to get through the, the deal on Saturday, mm -hmm. and then we figured we'd put one out next week. Um, you know, we didn't feel like, I mean, we're basically going to give you the same depth chart we gave you to start with. And so we wanted to be able to get a, a little bit more of, a, of an accurate depth chart. So that'll be next week? Please. Yeah, yeah, we'll probably release that next week prior to the scrimmage. And then, you know, go back and review it and probably do a final spring one. A lot, I mean, a lot of that's going to be projections. You know, some of it's going to include some guys that have been, you know, non-contact this spring. And so, I mean, it's going to be, 
Like you'd have Harper as the number one. Yeah, potentially. Yeah. yeah, and you might have Bruce Hart as the number two Mike, and you know just stuff like that where, you know, they haven't really participated in live practice. They've been out here doing stuff, but they haven't gone live. And if we disagree with some of your uh, choices, can we come? Yeah, of course and, you and can. Talk sure, and, certainly, and, uh, <laughs> certainly. We're always, we'd say, hey, we're always. Uh, you know, <laughs> available and willing to talk yeah, about stuff. Yeah. With experimenting <laughs> it is, right? exactly, yeah. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, thanks. Uh, thanks, guys. Uh,